this is MH Orange and Orange. Um, before I start, I just want to say, um, um, if you want a video requested of anything, um, uh, any video you would like to learn, even if it's not about computers, something that requires, I don't know. Um, so please comment below and give me your suggestions because that helps a lot. Um, so enjoy the video. First of all, uh, I'm sorry that I have not made a video in a while. I've been really busy, school and such. Um, so, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to all the people who have watched my videos. Each and every one of you. I know I've only got my max video, my most views on a video is 400, but that's a lot for me. Um, so, thank you for watching my videos and liking them. Uh, I also want to say thank you for my subscribers. I only, I know I only have 18, but that's pretty good. So thank you. I'm going to be rolling out some pretty cool videos uh, real soon, as well as this one. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a iPhone app, uh, where it's like a screensaver where a ball bounces around um, the, the iPhone screen, like the edges. Uh, it's not that hard. Just some simple, like, uh, yeah, some simple coding. It's not that hard. And regarding my screen say, um, my background, I got it off the internet somewhere, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so, file new project. You're going to want to need an image of anything, but I just have a ball right there. So, we'll just name this Bounce. Drag your image into here, into resources, take the ball. Oops. Sorry. And I'm sorry if I messed up, because I haven't been... Uh, really making apps in a while, so I have to kind of get into it again. So um, here we go. We'll go into classes. Go into the uh, bouncefreecontroller.h. We'll declare um, an IB outlet for the ball for the UI image view because it is a ball. It is an image, or whatever your image is called. I just named it ball. So. Next thing we have to do is cg point for the position, so we, so we just name it position, cg point uh, of the position of the ball. Okay, so now we just have to uh, do at property outside of this, non-tonic detain uh, for memory management UI image. And just name ball. So every time you do add property, you have to do add synthesize and the dot n. So we'll just do at the synthesize ball. Okay, so we have all that. We're just basically saying for the ball and a CG point um, for where the ball is. Okay, so now we'll do a void. Uh, we'll do void bounce, declare bounce later. Um, so ball dot center. Oops. Center space equals space c g point make, and um, the first one's gonna be ball dot center. Pretty self-explanatory. The center of the ball dot x um plus position oops dot x so now you have to do for the y we're basically saying um declaring where the ball is, uh you can name uh the position of the ball um so now we have to do the same thing for the y. So ball dot center dot center dot y plus position. Oops. Sorry, <laughs> position dot y dot y. Okay, so that's what we have to do there. And now we'll have to do an if statement. Uh, if Declaring how far the ball can go so it doesn't like bounce off the screen. If ball dot center dot x 
is greater than 320. That's the uh, width of the screen. And we'll do two of these lines. File dot center dot x is less than zero. Okay. Position dot x equals negative position dot x. So now we have to uh, basically copy and paste that and put in the y for the y axis. Okay. So now I'll just close that off. Oops, I that up twice. Um, so that's what we have to do here. Uh, we're not done yet, but let's just build it. It probably succeeded, which is good. So here we're just saying, we're declaring um, that there in fact is something there, and we're declaring um, how far uh, the ball can go. You can, oops, why did I put that? 480, which is the height. So uh, you can actually make these smaller or larger if you want to bounce off the screen, but uh, that doesn't really matter. So now we have to uncomment these, and we have to declare the bounce for the void. So um, <coughs> and the speed. Okay. So we do position. Base equals base, C, G, point, make, ten, and three. Okay. So now we'll do N, an NS timer for, um, NS timers for the, the which makes, um, I have to do NS timer to make it all work. <clears throat> NS timer. Schedule time with time interval. Uh, uh, this, oops, <coughs> excuse me, um, and the NS time interval is how fast you want it to go, um, we can do it whatever speed, but let's do point zero one. that's actually going to be quite fast, target is self, why did I put that, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm kind of out of it. Been really sick. And it's time schedule time time interval. Um, press escape and click the second one. And it's time interval, which will be zero point zero one. Target is self. The sector is add selector sir, and bounce for the bounce up here. Let's see. <coughs> I'm not gonna explain all this because it'll just take me too long. User info now. And repeat e yes, we want it to repeat. So that's what you need for to get it all working. Uh, so let's um go into the resources um bounce view controller.xib And you can control the speed um, here. Okay. You can set the background to something else. Oops. Let's just do green. So go go into your library. Go to media. Drag in your ball. On files owner, go to the connections, drag the ball to the ball, place it wherever you like, save that. Um, quit. Let's build around, see if it works. Expect it. Oh, I think. Yeah, forgot to do that. So, no errors now. That's pretty good.
let it load up and you see the bar is bouncing quite fast and it's not really going up the screen uh, so I think the, <coughs> the higher you go the slower so let's try 0.5 and we can make this 400 and like 500. See if it goes off the screen. It's a bit wrong. See, 0 0.5 is extremely slow. So actually, let's just do 0 0.01, 0 0.05. So we can just see it go. Yeah, you see how it's going off the screen because the screen width is um, 320 by 480. I mean the dimensions. So that's how to make a ball animate. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Give this a like. Uh, I'll be rolling out some really cool videos soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.